um, one of the things that makes these films so spectacular, I think, in American art, uh, they're American films, um, is that you have two great artists working together. You know, what Hitchcock's construction, and, and Herman would say, I, we, I'm, I don't know if I have it in a clip later today, but he said, Her, Herman said, Hitchcock has already made the film in his head. I would know that Mr. Herman admired that a great deal, because I think that's the way he did his music. He, you know, conceived it in his head. He'd be in, mentioned in uh, your book. There's a passage. Herman was up there, went up into the con the, the uh, projection room, and he was scribbling down notes. You know, because he was hearing the. You know, already yeah. had ideas about the score. They would run the film for him. You know, things like that. So um, that's why these films, uh, one of the things that make these films spectacular and a film like The Birds, which has no conventional music score, is also fascinating because of the cutting, the way Hitchcock's style. And Herman was very involved in that film yes. as a co-sound you know, designer of the electronic sounds, which they, he and Hitchcock agreed could be, they wanted to try an experiment to not have a traditional score. So that, he wasn't unhappy about the decision to not have a traditional score. He thought that would be interesting. And in fact, a lot of his 1930s radio shows are very experimental in their use of non-musical sounds as music as well as more yeah. conventional ones. That's, fan that's fascinating. Um,